The next very interesting thing and important thing you need to understand when you build and start with RAP is the scenario, the types of implementation you will choose. So before you even get in into the project, before you even start writing your first CDS view, first code, ask yourself, is this a managed scenario or is this an unmanaged scenario? What is unmanaged? What is managed? So guys, there are two types of implementation which happens in a company. Whenever you join any company or any project, so let's say you join as, as a developer. So the moment you go to project, there are two options. Option number one, they are starting a completely new product, new software. Option number two, they are already having a product, but they are enhancing that product. Yes. So there is already some lines of code which is written by, by developers in the past. Yes. Today, I would say 30% of use cases are like this and 70% of the use cases where already there is some code written. Yes. So if you are starting something fresh, something new, this is like greenfield. Greenfield means you are planning to start agriculture and you've just purchased a land and this land is absolutely fresh. There is no crop which was done before in this land. It's fresh land. You can right away start bowing and you can start uh, cropping your agriculture. Yes, this is green field implementation. Then comes this, there is already something and on top you want to add something. This is brownfield. Think about somebody already did some agriculture on this land and then they burned it. So they taken out all the crop and they burned it. Now the field look brown which means there is already some kind of agriculture which was done on this land. It's a brown field implementation. That's the 70% of cases. So ask yourself in your company, do you already have done something in the past? Is there already some legacy code which you want to integrate? Or are you starting something new? All the BTP development, fresh BTP development are all green field. But all the S4 on on-premise, there is some part of code you want to reuse. So it depends on use case to use case. What is your use case? If you think this is a completely new app, completely new scratch product, product from scratch, go with the green field implementation. If it is, there is already some code which you can tell better or somebody in your team can tell better, you go with brown field. The brown field implementation is managed by unmanaged scenario. Why it is called unmanaged? Because in this case, the wrap framework, wrap is a framework, this framework will not manage your code. You need to manage your code yourself. So RAP is saying, I am not going to manage the code for you. That is why it is unmanaged. It's suitable for brownfield implementation where you want to create a transactional application. Yes, you want to create a transactional application which can insert, update, delete data from system by writing your own logic, guys. This is very important, you see own logic khud ka logic aapka khud ka your own code now think of a use case in your company you already developed a lot of classes in the past lot of function modules right lot of old code lot of legacy code you want to reuse that code you want to integrate that code with wrap you can that's called brownfield implementation and done using unmanaged scenario Yes, so what it says, you have already some business logic, which you and you want to use that business logic to perform transactional capability. Means there is already something, you want to reuse it. Yes, so now understand, you are on your own, aap khud ke upari dependent ho, to manage your implementation. All the code which you need to do, you need to do yourself. So this gives a lot of flexibility to you. Yes. You can write your own code, but again, it is not recommended. Why? Because then you are not leveraging the framework to its full potential. What is the use of framework? The use of framework to auto generate most of the code. Yes. Auto generate most of the code. Sometimes you think that maintenance of this code is more expensive than building the new code. Right? Purani gadi ko chalane ka kharcha itna jada hai, itne mein to nahi gadi a jayegi. Right? Happens in India very often. Your dad will come and tell you, why are you running this old scooter? This is consuming so much oil. In that money, you can buy a new motorbike, right? 
so that's the situation so sometimes you need to also take a hard decision that okay i want to scrap what is already there and i want to start a fresh in that case you jump to the many scenario many scenario i love this you know why i love this because this is the full potential of rap here rap is telling boss you sit and relax and enjoy i will take care for you rap is going to auto generate most of the code for you you just have to build your business object your tree data structure and you surrender it to the rap and you tell rap hey rap this is my business object and the rap framework is going to generate most of the code for you out of the box that's a full potential of the rap framework so this is called for use for greenfield implementation it is used when you want to create transactional application which can insert update delete data from the system by using framework provided implementation so you see here framework is providing implementation and here you are writing your own logic yourself everything you have to do here framework will provide the base implementation for you out of the box apne aap code generate ho jayega you don't have to worry the code will auto generate automatically you don't have to worry much of the part but then you say anubhav if it is fully auto generated code uh, what will happen to my own custom coding like i wanted to check something suppose i'm creating sales order i want to check if the material is in stock or not if user would have used a incorrect material yes so those things can still be checked with the greenfield as well with the many scenario because rap will give you some hook points it will give you some anchors where you can anchor your custom code so it will give you flexibility also but the advantage here is most of the code will auto generate which you can reuse and whenever there is a need to regenerate the code it will also do yes so you can you do not have your own business logic for example with you in the past and you want system to create the business logic for you automatically automatically this is guys the the best and the fastest way to generate new brand new applications with optimized hana and fury experience any question the difference between managed versus unmanaged scenario this is 100% question in certification exam also and 100% question when your manager will also ask you when you go for rap implementation in further days any question on this managed versus unmanaged scenario yes now one thing i would like to explain you guys that sap is a product company is sap making solution only for ey no it's also a company product company which makes for everybody it's a product company sap have lots of partner ey deloitte ibm infosys yes tcs tech mahindra yes jn pact yes technologies they they are partner with every company they are a product company so when they develop something when they come up with some framework or some approaches they need to cater to all the customer needs so if you think from your perspective you think okay in my project i think managed is the only thing this doesn't doesn't fit to my need and my requirement maybe for you within your company in a small part of the company small part of the team it may not fit but sap cannot develop a solution or a framework which which just fit to your need it has to think broader so they think very broad by keeping all the customers and partners in mind you never know let's say today in your project managed is the best fit but tomorrow you change your company you go to another company another team or you work for a customer and that customer is different it's in europe or canada or australia and they have a different use case in that case how do you adapt rap that's why sap give different approaches to handle it yes different approaches to handle it so it's it is a provisioning given by sap it's up to you to decide which one you want to choose it's up to you completely up to you which one you want to choose you want to go with x or you want to go y there there is a provisioning done by sap so that is what uh, the difference between managed versus versus unmanaged so guys three important things you these three slides are very important so first is the approach we'll start with cds entity we'll create business object we define behavior definition behavior implementation behavior projection 
basically bio projection service definition service binding and fury app that is our flow of development we will be using in our training yes that's the first part you need to understand and remember the second part you need to understand is what is business object what is the life cycle of a business object and what are the behaviors business object possess the third thing is managed versus unmanaged if these three questions you are clear with anybody can develop using rap and it's not difficult this is theory sometime i understand the theory is boring for you but theory is important so that we can answer and by the way i kept the theory very less you see my slides i do not put too much of theory i just put more of a diagrammatic manner to explain things i also understand that it's a pain to understand and remember theory but it is important okay it's boring also sometimes uh, and sometimes it's confusing also so but it is important when we go practical that time i'll come back to theory and map it so you will understand okay this is what anubha was talking okay this is how it is okay this is in this use case this way we can apply in this use case this we can apply so that way this training will help you to get a broad overview and understanding with practical example to to map it so that you can apply different different scenarios at different different time 